What's up YouTube? It's Jermaine with another video. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how an average Joe person can live in San Francisco. All right. So let's say you're moving here for the first time and you're looking for a place and you don't know, you don't know where to go. Well, a lot of people go to Craigslist and that's how, when I first moved here, that's how I found my place. However, Craigslist can be tough because if it's a place that a lot of people are interested in, usually what happens is they'll have like a house, like a house showing, you know, maybe Tuesday at four o'clock and like 10 people will show up and they all want the place. And all of those 10 people, you know, have all their documents ready. Like they're pretty much ready to move in like right then. Not all of them, but some of them are. Um, a lot of them have, like, you know, checks ready to, to be written and everything. So those places are going to be tough to move in because it's all about... It, I mean, those places are always tough because I don't even like to look at places like that. Nowadays, the easiest way to find a place is just to go to one of these new buildings that are being built and just talk to those people. Because the difference between those buildings versus, you know, the situation my ex-girlfriend and I were in, I'll explain it to you. So, the situation with my ex-girlfriend and I, we were looking on Craigslist, and we were looking for about, I don't know, um, gosh, a week. But it was crazy. This was like the worst week. Because we're emailing people, we're calling people, you know, a lot of people aren't answering our calls, they're not responding our, responding to our voicemails, and it's just like a hassle, like, we're looking for a place, and places are expensive, and you usually have to pay the first month's rent and the last month's rent. A lot of places now are requiring first month's, last month's, and a security deposit that's equal to the first month's. So, if you're looking at a place that's $3,000 a month to move in, you're going to have to cough up $9,000 just to move in, which is ridiculous. But that's on certain buildings. On other buildings, like the building that I, my girlfriend and I were in, we had to come up with, you know, uh, first months and last months. But these new buildings that they're building, they want people to move in. So, pretty much, you don't even have to pay last month's. And the deposit is like very little, you know, $500 deposit or something like that. And then the rent's $3,000 a month or $4,000 a month. So there, there's those places. Now, if you, if you can't afford that, like uh, most people can't. I mean, I know people that were in Google that, that can't afford a one bedroom in the city. Then it's just like, um, it's just like college all over again. And basically what I mean by that is people are just packing up packing out houses um you know they'll take a four bedroom house and you know they'll turn all the bedroom all the bedrooms are taken and they'll take another room in the house and turn that into a bedroom you know it's not officially a bedroom but you know some rooms like that can totally work as a functioning be bedroom and people rent that out and in that way you know everybody pays anywhere from 800 bucks a month to like, you know, 1500 bucks a month, really depending on the situation, really depending on the neighborhood, the housing, you know, all that stuff. So that's how average Joe folks move in. And if you take that route, you know, unlike the route my girlfriend and I took, and un unlike the route of um, going to, you know, a place that charges very little deposit, but is brand new and has very high rent, you can take this alternative, um, just looking for roommates. Um, usually when you look for roommates, you just have to come up with first months and last months. Um, now in the city, people can be really picky. Like people can be really, really picky when it comes to roommates. Whenever I go on Craigslist and I look at like roommates and what people are looking for, I'm just surprised because people are like, you know, I'm vegan and I don't do this and I work here, I work these hours. It would be best if you had a job. It would be best if you did this. It would be best if if you are into these things. You know, I look at some of those ads on Craigslist and I'm like, dude, if I ever have to look for a roommate, maybe I would just like buy a van and like sleep in it or something. Because I mean, some of those ads online are just freaking absurd. Like, you know, 
I don't even want to get into it. Just go Craigslist, San Francisco, and just look at some of the roommate requirements, you know? Oh, I work here. I graduated from Duke, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's like, wow. Anyway, um, yeah, but Craigslist is definitely a way to go. And another thing that's really getting really popular in the city, and I'm, it's kind of awesome, communal living. And I'm going to make a whole other video about that. But communal living is definitely um, an alternative, at least for some time. It's kind of sad that, like, it's getting so expensive that people have to, like, live this way in a lot of cities. But, you know, if you're young and you want to live here, you want to grow, you know, you'll do whatever it takes to make it. Um, and I would say uh, other ways to make it in the city is just to live in Oakland. Um, there is quite a bit of... Um, places in Oakland, especially if you have a car. Um, that's that's our one alternative. And not just Oakland. I know Oakland has a bad rap. A lot of people, you know, just don't like Oakland. So if you don't like Oakland, believe me, there's a whole bunch of other areas near San Francisco around the area where you can, you know, totally live and be really close to the city because that's where all the action is. You know, whenever I go to Oakland and try to make money, it's just slow, you know? And if I go to other parts of, like, you know, the, the the Bay Area, like, um, you know, Marin County. Don't get me wrong, like, it's a nice area, but it's just, it don't have the same speed and don't have the same rhythm as the city. You know, the city's hella fast, you know. You know, you wake up and, you know, I remember waking up in the city, I would wake up and just hear the buses freaking honk, honk, the street sweeper, someone getting their car towed, you know, some old crazy lady screaming, you know, you got a couple outside yelling at 7 in the morning at one another before they go to work. Like, that's the part I like. Um, Oakland's all right, but honestly, like, Oakland, it's a little slow. Um, actually, Oakland's, uh, it's just more of a peaceful place. You know, whenever I'm in Oakland, I can always find a parking spot, and it's hella chill. I can, like, park my car in most parking lots and won't worry about my windows getting smashed like you do in San Francisco, and that's a whole nother video right there, vandalism and car break-ins in San Francisco, oh man, that's like, that's a multi-million dollar business in this city, and I'll address that, you know, in the upcoming weeks, but anyway, um, yeah, so dude, if you, you're looking for a city, I mean, you're looking for a place in the city, um, I would say, you know, hit up Craigslist, there's other apps, and if you know people, um, also, there's a lot of Facebook groups. Like, um, there's a lot of Facebook San Francisco roommate groups. I would say make get get in a part of that. If you can, you know, link up one of those groups, you can find some pretty cool places and you can meet pretty cool people. And if you don't even have a job, maybe they can even help you get a job. All right, guys. So I'm gonna just you know cut the video off here. I, I can't make it too long. But anyway, um, if you like this video, definitely hit uh, give me a thumbs up. And you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys. Peace. That's a wrap.